Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Party channel. Today I'm going to share with you some really cool, easy DIY projects to help you style a really pretty vignette, a little shelf, or a little full coffee bar like I have done here. I love to change up my coffee bar or coffee station, whether it's in my kitchen or in my living room, with decorations for each season. And this autumnal uh, inspired decor is a really easy to pull off and I hope you guys are going to enjoy the ideas. And for my first project, I decided to create a little uh, sign for my coffee bar and I designed four different printables and I'll be sure to leave the link down in the description box where you can get the same. They're for sale in my shop, really inexpensively as well. So you can choose from four different designs. So all these four designs come in the same kit. So basically just print it off onto white paper or white cardstock. And to give it a little uh, orange border, I decided to stick it onto some orange cardstock. It's nothing simpler than that. So basically I'm just using regular glue stick to uh, stick the two pieces of cardstock together. But obviously you don't have have to use orange you can use a brown or you can use yellows or mustards depending on what color scheme you're doing uh, for your coffee bar or for your home decor and instead of using a photo frame or something like that I decided to use a mini uh, wooden chopping board that I had at home to uh, just to stick my sign to it I think it looks so cute it's really easy to do and because I want to use the chopping board again for different seasons like I said I'm just using a very small amount of glue on all four corners of my uh, printable to stick that to the front so it's easy to remove at a later date if I choose to so basically this is a really cool idea that you can use to decorate your kitchen like I said a shelf or a drink station coffee bar or anything else that you like and here are my four different printable designs just to give you guys some ideas of how it can look uh, against a wooden backdrop I love how this project turned out and how easy was that to make guys anyone can do this next up we were making this adorable burlap full garland which is perfect to decorate the front of a bar cart as I did here but you can also use it anywhere in your home uh, to attach it to a wreath to a ladder and basically the possibilities are endless and for this I'm using some uh, burlap banners uh, little flags that I got on sale at my local craft store but if you wanted to make your own it's super easy they just basically stitch a bit of burlap on all four sides so you wouldn't uh, fray and basically I'm using my Sizzix to cut out the letters here again you are totally flexible to use whatever cutting machine or even cut the letters by hand you don't have to cut many so basically you could just take a template from a word processing software and use that if you haven't got a Sizzix but because I have a Sizzix and I have these letter templates I decided to use some orange felt to cut out my full letters and just to add a little bit more you know pizzazz to my little banner I'm using some scraps of brown ribbon on top of each little flag and I'm just hot gluing the whole thing together and once again I want to repurpose my little burlap banner for a different occasion or a different season so I'm really being very economical with the hot glue here so I'm able to pull off all the decorations uh, at a later date say for Christmas or for a different occasion and change up the letters and the colors as well so there's a little tip for you guys uh, you could also use some kind of zigzag ribbon or some other decorations that you may already have at home but I decided to keep it simple just with the brown ribbon and the orange letters I think sometimes less is more and it looks a little bit more chic and more high-end if you don't go all crazy with the decorations but it's up to you you know whatever suits your fancy whatever you know you like for your decor and obviously you can use whatever colors of felt and ribbon that you like you could use burgundies you know yellows I think you look really good for autumn as well so you know um, just choose what materials that you have handy and that you prefer that will suit your decor best I really like how this craft turned out how easy and quick it was you know to just jazz up something that you maybe buy in the store ready-made that you can just customize to suit your decor for the season next up we're going to be making one of my favorite DIY projects of this uh, video which is this really pretty dried flowers wreath 
these flowers basically I gathered around my home and you can use anything that you have handy to you if you go for a nature walk you know something that's fallen on the ground or maybe something from your garden or even from a friend's garden you know just collect a few interesting leaves you know I have eucalyptus here I do not know the names of half of these things to be honest but they just look really interesting so I just gathered a few that were on the side of the road you know nothing no big deal they were dead already anyway as you can see but they make the most a beautiful floral arrangement especially um, if you haven't got a big budget you know to spend on fresh flowers and I think the autumnal colors here you know kind of like of the dried leaves you know that you may find some kind of burgundy berries as well it's just perfect to create a wreath like this and to hang on your front door to hang uh, on your kitchen anywhere else you like but for this one I use it to decorate behind the wall of my little coffee bar cart and I also use some grass as well that I found along with that but here you could use anything that I was trying out different you know leaves that I found this was like um, a laurel leaf, leaf from my garden and basically all you do is bunch up all the little bits uh, of dried flowers and stems together and you can vary the heights of the stems and use a little bit of floral wire and I'm using gold wire here just to match with the colors that I chose and basically you just layer everything together until you're happy with the result as you can see I tried different combinations and different um, looks to see what I was happy with and in the end I decided to skip the laurel leaves I thought they were too bulky and I just used the grass as my backdrop so I just bundled up a couple of grass uh, stems on either side of the bottom of my wreath and here you can use a wreath form you can use a ring you can use embroidery hoop anything that you have handy as well so basically for this project I didn't have to buy anything I had all the supplies at home so if you're like me you're a crafter you probably have some wreath forms as well and this is a really great inexpensive way to create a wreath that looks perfect for autumn and also that looks so so beautiful and really different as well uh, you don't see many of these around um, and the only issue that I found as you can see you get a lot of you know drop off from the dried stems but I looked online and you can actually buy some uh, flower sealant or leaf sealant in your local florist or online and that will help to keep and preserve your dried blooms and your dried stems for a lot longer so once you've tied all the little bunches together and arranged them how you like onto your wreath just when everything's nice and secure just go in with a pair of secateurs or pair of scissors and trim off the excess stems you know so that everything uh, looks nice uh, when you hang it up and also I found that it was a little bit too heavy so I had to turn my wreath around and use another bit of you know floral wire to kind of make sure that everything was nicely secure in place once uh, I put the wreath on my wall and that you wouldn't topple over or fall down Now to hide the wire in the center you could use some floral uh, bits like this one I don't know what it's called it kind of looks like a thistle but it's not quite and uh, just kind of either shove that in there or you could use some uh, faux little berries which uh, I decided to add for a pop of color and I had these uh, at home so I just added them to a little uh, wire to make a little pick and just inserted that in the center once my wreath was hanging up uh, just to add a little bit of color like I said but also to hide the uh, center wire you know the gold wire that was holding all the little uh, stems together and this is how the wreath turned out and I am absolutely in love with it I think it looks so beautiful and perfect to decorate your home for autumn Our next DIY project is going to be this adorable pumpkin accent cushion which is perfect to decorate for fall and for this project you're going to need uh, the pumpkin template which I have designed and made available for you to download for free so be sure to check the description box on this video to see the download link and once you have downloaded and printed it off onto white paper or white card you're just going to cut off all the pieces like I have done here then you're going to take some felt whatever color felt that you like and that suits your decor and you're going to trace all the pieces onto the felt and just cut that off as well At the end 
it should uh, have something that looks like this. So you have uh, the central part and the two either uh, side parts. And for our cushion itself, we're going to be using a tea towel. So this is a great way to make accent cushions for each season really inexpensively. So all I did, I found this really cute, uh, you know, buffalo check uh, tea towel in my local, uh, you know, homeware store. And it was really inexpensive as well. And I just folded it in half. And here you have the option to uh, sew the thing in place, you know, so you sew the two halves together. But because I am lazy and I cannot be bothered to get my sewing machine out. Or also, this is an option if you haven't got a sewing machine or don't like to sew or can't sew. Use one of those uh, thermal tapes that they just used for making hems. And basically, we're just going to add a piece of tape in between the two sides. And we're just going to iron it together because the tape acts like a sealant or a glue, if you like. And it fuses the two pieces of fabric together. You can wash afterwards. If the tape comes off, you can just iron the whole thing again. Uh, so obviously it's a delicate uh, kind of cushion. So I suggest hand washing only. But it works perfectly if you want quick results as well as you can see. So basically we're going to do one of the sides and uh, one of the long sides. Leaving an opening to fill up our cushion. So once you've done that, we're going to take some fabric glue. And we're going to apply it to our felt pieces and make sure that you don't uh, leave big splodges on there as you can see here i'm using a paintbrush to kind of spread the glue over the glue around to make sure i don't get any big blobs and also takes a long time to dry if you have a lot of glue you know just sitting on one of the of the pieces take a long time and if you are a bit you know push for time like i am <laughs> and you like to see results quickly then i suggest you do this it dries really quickly and you can start using your cushion straight away. And once your cushion is completely dry, your cushion cover, then you can go in and stuff your cushion with some polyfill uh, or even you can recycle an old pillow or an old cushion that you don't like anymore and just take off the insides and just, you know, repurpose it for uh, this decorative uh, cushion. And to seal up the cushion, we're going to use some more of that thermal tape and we're just going to add it to the edge. And just going to use our iron to seal the uh, the opening of the cushion shut. Here is a good idea to use some safety pins uh, with the tape and the fabric to make sure that it's a lot easier for you to maneuver the iron around the pillow because it's quite full so it might be a little bit tricky so I suggest you use some safety pins to help you out. But here's our gorgeous little autumnal pumpkin cushion. I think it's the perfect little accent to decorate your living room, your bedroom or anywhere else you like in your home. It is such an easy technique that you can use as you can see for any season or any occasion. Well, I like how everything turned out. I hope you did too and that you feel inspired to recreate some of these ideas and craft projects at home to decorate your coffee bar or a little corner of your home to make it a little bit more cozy for the autumnal season. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like this kind of content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.